Good evening and welcome to the Heart Sports Village University for top of the table clash okay. in the National Basketball League. Division one between third place Hemel Storm, who are nine and two and unbeaten, and league leaders Solent Kestrels. They're ten and zero. Both teams had big wins yesterday. With Hemel Storm beating Derby Trailblazers on the road 94 to 84. 30 to 22 in the first and 20 to 12 in the fourth in favour of the Storm and they got the job done and it was behind a Herculean effort by Greg Polian again for the Storm. 46 points, 10 rebounds, 3 assists, 20 of 23 from the field, 52 efficiency index. I've got Simon Wheeler with me. I, these are figures that are rarely put up in a game in this country or anywhere really uh yeah was, uh, good evening everyone i'm glad you could all make it to this evening's stream greg yesterday was just awesome um you know it got to a point where you, you could see the coaching staff were making sure he was hot gave him the ball said shoot it and and he delivered every every single time um i know his family watch a lot and they would have enjoyed what they saw yesterday as well as all you uh, storm guys out there um i guess the slight downside from that, he's highlighted himself to uh, Team Solon Kestrel. So uh, let's see what they do, if they you know, do anything special with him. It'd be interesting to see how they, uh, how they deal with him. And then, you know, and then it's down for the rest of the Storm guys to step in, Graham. Yeah, absolutely agree. I think they're going to look at double teaming, get the, get the ball out of his hands early. But Greg's smart enough and unselfish enough to get other players involved. Impressive stats also for, for Mike Williams. 10 assists to go with his 14 points. That's really encouraging to see that he's sharing the ball as well as scoring. Yeah, we've, we've got a good, a good you know, basis, a nucleus of players that seem to step up. You know, when, when they're not, Bode had a great game uh, last time out, um, last weekend, and Teo's stepping up with points and rebounds. So, you know, we've got a good depth for now, you know, six, seven, eight players in there. And then the other guys, you, you, the likes of Nick Allen and, and Jack step up and, and hit freeze when we really needed some momentum to turn the game so you know it, it's looking good yeah that was that was important Nick I, guess I spoke to Nick you know pre-game and he, he only he had four minutes on court and he hit the big hit the big three two rebounds one assist he doesn't need a lot of minutes to get it done Jack hit a big three five points as well Sam Lewis coming in with two Teo five points but six rebounds three assists uh, Levi Noel five points and one assist so a relatively quiet day for him but we know he can really bring it all, bring the whole whole package. I think today would be a good day for, for Levi to turn it on. Yeah, I think when we go to our opposition today, um, Solent Kestrels, you know, they're not number one. They're not 10-0 and 0 for, for no reason at all. I thought the game against Bradford yesterday, it was a quiet one for them. I don't think they were pushed as maybe as hard as I hope Storm uh, pushed them today. But they just did what they needed to do. They, they won the first quarter, I think it was 20 to 5 or, you know, something like that. Um, didn't do much quarters two and three and then stepped up in quarter four and went through the gears and, and finished the game off. You look at their, their matchups uh, against Storm and, and it's just, you know, they're number one and number two, whereas Storm are number one, number two in other areas. It just, it's just matching up for a really good game of uh, NBL basketball. Yes, first, Kestrel was a first and Hamill Storm third after their win. But Solent leading him leading the stats in points per game, assists per game and rebounds per game. Hemel Storm leading uh, free throw percentage, but they're right up there. They're second in points per game as well. So this, this will be an offensive display, but you know, one team has got to work out how to res restrict and to stop the opposition offensively. Yeah, you look for all the stats and that's all we can do before the game starts. We look at the comparisons and it's so close. We're talking percent tenths of percentages um, in the game today and now just hopefully uh, let's see let's just have a great game and hopefully storm I think we're going to take a, a knee for Great moment, silent, and respect to you know. Just just remember that there is just no room for racism in any sport. Um, basketball includes itself in there, so really good to see. Absolutely, just 
going through the stats for uh, Silent Castles yesterday. Ian Smith, 15 points, three assists. Jackman, 12 points, six rebounds, four assists. Arasol, 13 points, five rebounds, three assists. They got five guys in who've scored points between 22 and 13 points or 12 points. So they're really sharing the ball and sharing the stats. There's no one key person that's getting all the stats for them. Yeah, that's it definitely no, a team effort, a very good team effort at that. You know, let's hope that uh, Storm can get their O to go and uh, get the win. Absolutely, we're underway. Kestrel's in red, attacking the basket to our right. Storm in the black uniforms. And this is the matchup of the weekend. Storm taking care of Derby. They were both on eight and two before the game yesterday as Jackman attacks and scores to get things underway for the Kestrels. Levi Mill, they've just got to take care of the ball and keep it moving. Greg Trump, Mike, sorry to get the rebound. One of the leading rebounds for the Storm. And second leading score, shots up for Kestrel. Just long, but it falls to Jackman, former EBL player. Yes, it's Leopards in the NBL as well. And almost stolen by Smith. Bodie play, really starting to deliver offensively. Didn't need to so much yesterday, but seven assists to go with his 14 points. Inside to Levi, that's a nice way to look inside for Levi, get him started early. Yeah, you just don't want, you don't want Team Solent to get away from this like they did yesterday where they just get a massive lead. So it's good that uh, Storm have got in there, um, you know, behind by two now. Let's, uh, let's just keep the pressure on. Shots up. Caronco. Yeah, they're, they're rolling over a lot of teams. They rolled over Bradford yesterday, and it's just team basketball, as you say, and that's how Hemel Storm have got to play. Use, use the tools they've got, share the ball as much as possible. They're averaging just under 20 assists a game and keep the ball moving, just like that. The shot was short, but it's ended up with Greg, who just can't get it to go. Travis Charles, that's going to be a good matchup between him and, him and Greg. Charles from the elbow, just long. You can only give them one shot. Bodie all the way along the baseline. Mike pulls up, knocks it down, almost just comes back out. That's a tough break there, just to hit the rim, rebounded out rather than in. It's uh, you know one of those things that happen in basketball sports. It's not linear, it's the microscopic evaluation of how that ball floats in there but it's looking good it's, it's, it's looking like the matchups are there you know Storm are competing there's there's no early Solon yeah, no taking early away breakaway. yeah yeah absolutely and Jackman forced to take a tough shot there and that's all they can do with some of their players and now it's not loose Smith and nice play protects the ball in the layup and early early something Waiting to see what the call is. I'm sure Drew would want a timeout this early. It's 6-2. It's a no call. No call, that's, that's fine. But that was sloppy there. Greg just having the ball taken him off the blind side. That's a couple of times that's nearly happened uh, by the Kestrels. Uh, the one thing Storm have always kind of done is the basics right and, and really kind of fundamentals. And that they've got to keep that going and make sure they don't give the silly baskets up because before you know it, you'll be, uh, be, be behind by far too much to catch up. Again, a pass just going loose there for uh, Levi. Yeah, just another unforced error. They've just got to take care of the ball. And as Mike Darlow said in his pre-game comments to us, they've, they've got to keep taking great shots. They can't just take OK shots. They've got to work to get people wide open or as open as they can. Jackman attacks and all the way to the basket. Jackman averaging under 16 points a game and 8.1 rebounds for this team as you'd expect lots of experience for the from the GB flat but Levi Noll off right but Williams with a rebound Teo for three former Solent player on the league and cup with this team back in 18-19 season
Charles in the post. Jump hook is good. They're going to go at Greg offensively as well as give him as hard a time as they can defensively and Storm would know this. Yeah, absolutely. So Greg's got to be on his metal today. Yeah, and, and the other guys, that, you know, Greg's, like you said early on when we were discussing it, Greg's a, a good enough player that he's going to see the, the gaps that are created by them matching up on him. There you go, Mike, from yes. the uh, outside, from the corner, hits the long two. That's a tough shot, fading away, almost falling out of bounds. But now Smith attacking and scoring, and he wasn't stopped at all. He got too deep into the storm paint. Bodie trying to push the other way. It's another, another turnover, but it's the right intention. Just got to make sure they get the catch. 14 to four, halfway through the first. Storm and Kestrels, unbeaten. In red, Hamel Storm in black. On defense at the moment, if you're just joining us. Long distance shot is off, rebound Williams. And that's what Storm have got to keep doing, just allow Kestrels one shot and make it as tough as possible. Yeah, forcing that that, that shot from behind the arc is is they kind of oh, there's a foul called against Bode. Andre Arasol with the foul. Team Solent full of players that can take a game single-handed, so much like Greg did yesterday. But what we saw from them yesterday was a much more spread-out team. You know, these guys have been up against BBL last season and did really, really yep. well, competed against, uh, you know, everything they could throw at them. Williams to Greg, long range, and he knocks it down, and he's off and running. Inside, Charles versus Greg, what a great matchup that is. And he just, just has that slight height advantage there Charles and he gets the jump hook to go over the top of Polian. Levi Null. Mike Williams just don't want him to force it and there's the issue he's trying to take on the defence. Brendan Orwonko and it's just knocked it out of bounds. Wallet coming in for Teo and uh, Team Solent They've got dads coming in for uh, Okoranova. Excuse that pronunciation. <laughs> I've been practicing that all morning. <laughs> we want to try and get things right here. Defence from Storm as the attempted kick out to Elliot Dads. The captain of Silent Kestrels was deflected out. Only turnovers for the Hemel Storm. They've really got to take care of the ball from now on in. It's twisting and turning. Greg with the rebound. He's in the open floor looking for options. Gives it to Levi. Quick pass to Mike. Pulls up and he's just short. And Smith brings it the other way for Kestrels. Wallet. All hustle, all energy. Arasol inside to. Jackman, and a good defence by Greg. A couple of good stops there by Storm defence. Uh, looks like Wally's been pulled out there to uh, keep an eye on Smith. And he seems to be picking him up early. Absolutely. You've just got to have players that are, all they're going to do is play defence. They don't need the ball, and Wally is, can do his thing on offence, but he's someone that you can just go out there and play with energy and hustle and, and change the game that way. Picked up a foul there. It looked like his foot kind of raised itself, but it, it was uh, purely accidental. I don't think there's any malice there. Levi taking a, a, a seat while Jack steps in for him. Shots up for Kestrels, and it's good for two. John Lashley. Wearing number five today, so Kestrel's keeping us on our toes with the numbering arrangement. Is it ten minutes before the game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if that, I need more notice than that. Not an issue though, we roll with the punches. It's just great to get this game on 
two top teams in the division with Thames Valley just in between them. And uh, let's, let's really hope Hemelstorn can stay with this high-powered Kestrels team and show exactly why they're in third place and on a five-game winning streak too. Polian just off. Just those little things, just, you know, that, that, that you want to go your way, which, you know, at some point during the game is going to happen. Again, if they keep doing the right things. Yeah. That's four stops, uh, three or four stops, I yeah. think, that we, we, we've had no score. So now's the opportunity. Bodie to Wallet, looking for options, he dribbles. And Jack comes, ball side, inside now to Greg. Maybe jab step and a jump stop. Jump shot is just off, but his American buddy is in. Wallet dives, gets it off the glass. Jackman finally gets the ball for Kestrels, three on one, and they get the score. A four-man fast break, great transition from Silent Kestrels, and it forces the timeout by Hemelstorm. Yeah, it's, it's kind of 11 points is, is, is enough, isn't it? You, you get the guys in, let's just change what we're doing, have a quick chat, and hopefully the momentum are, are tipped the other way. It seemed like we were getting the stops. We just weren't taking our opportunity once we'd made that stop, and you've really got to... Take, take that, uh, make sure you get a score as good as good percentage shot as you can get away. Um, they're just not dropping yet, but no, every, every team has their they're time. They're making it tough. They're making it as tough as possible, especially for Greg. Uh, as you saw in that last sequence, you know, Wally'd had a tough one. And then in the end, Solon came up with that defensive rebound and then they pushed and, and kept passing the ball. And uh, I think it was Lashley or Charles that, that finished the play. So. Um, you know, Solon Kestrel's in charge again. But this is where Hemel Storm have got to show their character. They had issues yesterday up in Derby. There was some adversity, which Coach Mike Darlow talked about in his pre-game comments to us. And, and they got over that. And, they get, and he knew they were going to get this today. They've got it early and they're going to have to deal with it. Yeah, uh, Storm's current run of 5-0 and oh and Solent's run of, well, from last season, um, a lot more than 10 wins you know that, yeah. that confidence must be absolutely super but storm storm can match them um we just got to get those little things right get the ball to drop and and then you know the, the points to start getting back and and you know hopefully we can put some pressure yeah absolutely and it's going to be an absolute roster effort you know you can't just go with seven guys doing it today it's got to be nine ten eleven have got to have input holy and mate just made difficult by jackman just angled him off slightly Let's see if Greg can make a move. And he does. Going Tough to defence, isn't it? Going to that jump hook. Tough defence, you know. Yeah, it, it looks like you get a bit of contact there. Obviously, we're a bit further away from the, uh, the officials. Penetrate kick by Smith. Kestrels again. Just penetrate. Pass along the baseline. An easy jump shot. Rian Smith. 5'10", 25 years old out of Northern State. College second season at Silent Kestrels and similar to Hemelstorm, a lot of these players that played last year have come back, same as Hemelstorm. Yeah, yeah, and, and they had to, you know, it's great to watch them seeing these American guys that have played in front of huge crowds in their D1 and D2 games, and then to get them over here is uh, a, a real good sight to see. Solent just pipping it at the minute. Yeah, absolutely, and. Uh, just pushing it on the fast break. Some brew that. Not a young player, just 23 years old. Jack could really do with that going in just long. That was a good line. Just over clubbed slightly. Kestrels really need a strong defence here from Henry. Kestrels just slowing it down. Smith doing it all himself. Off. And that was the end of the first quarter. And Storm have 11. And so the Kestrels 24. They're in control at the moment. In, you know, room for improvement for Hemel Storm. And uh, we're just going to have to see how they can go second call to see what Coach Spinks can say to them. Maybe get a different five on the floor. Just tweak things a little bit and see if we can get something special from the group. Yeah, no, defence, they're, they're strong. They've, they've got the stops. It's, it's just the offence and taking. I think Darlow highlighted it in his pre-match um, 
conversation is that they've just got to take the right shot, the high percentage shot, um, get it to drop. And that's the difference, uh, just not quite getting the ball to drop currently. And the scores for the first quarter. Mike Williams with two, Adiola with two, Levi Noel with two, Greg Polin with five and four rebounds. And for Solent Kestrels, Ian Smith six, Jacqueline four, Coronquo two, Aerosol two, Charles four, Lashley six. So they've already got six players scoring and this seems to be the, their method of delivery. Nobody uh, is, is bursting out and, and putting up huge numbers everybody contributing and I guess that's where the, the secret for Storm is it they've got as you said they, that bench has got to come out there um, the Jacks the Knicks you know the guys that are, are, are sitting out the first five they've got to come and do a job and, and take that pressure for this game to make sure they match up against uh, Solent's bench yeah, absolutely no one's no one's in foul trouble so you know they've just got to be ready it is tough you know you, we, we would like nick nick to play more uh, it, and he had some good minutes yesterday but he's just he's just got to be patient and wait his time as the same as shaquille lewis and and, have ease. and alex scotland williamson is, is kitted up today we're gonna have to see if he's if he's fit enough and you know how many minutes he can put in because he that would really help inside just to be another big body in the key yeah, we. Have, I mean, obviously a big injury. I think you said a, a quad tear that is a huge injury to come back from. Major muscle group that's gonna. He's got to really introduce slowly. But now we've got Hafiz Abdul on the court. Let's see if uh, he can bring his BBL experience to the game. Yeah, absolutely. He had a really good start against Essex Rebels. The game we covered. He had a fast start there, and there's a rebound. Just got to feel his way into the game. He had 12 points that game. We could do with more of the same today. No. Versus Masumbu. Sharing a little smile there, bit of backwards and forwards. Between the two 11s, Levi. I'm not sure Jack was ready. That ball fizzed along the baseline. Just got to move the ball around, Hamill. Hamill stall. Change the direction, change the angle. Levi Noel going to inbound from the baseline. And there comes the side. There goes Mike for the catch and shoot. And he's right on the buzzer, but good rebound. And Levi just couldn't get it to go. Nothing easy underneath. Aerosol up and over. Blocked by Greg Bolian. The goaltender in called. Referee Dave Griffin on the game. It's goaltending. There was, there was a chance we had to stop. Uh, Levi was on the basket. He was a little bit shocked when he got the ball, wasn't quite ready, and, and they've just got to be ready. Take, take that chance. It's uh, underneath the basket. You know, draw the foul or get the shot away, get the M1. Open shot coming for Greg, and he knocks it down. Just smart, finding his spot, finding the space, and uh, knocks it down. As for Levi, 6'6, six, six, he's, he's, he's posted as a guard. He's, you know, he's, he's all court player. And, if you can go inside and get some scores, let's make the most of it. Shots up from Solent's captain just off. Elliot Dads. Not captain and for today. That was one of the changes. Uh, Dad's not captain today, we were uh, informed. Oh, my apologies. I have one job. <laughs> <laughs> As you told me earlier. Inside, Polian. And yes. So starting to get some advantage inside there. As he shoots over the top of Lashley. Just needs a quick catch and finish before the defense can get set. Good job by Jack. And thought it was a deflection off Musumbru. Or Busumbru, excuse me. But it still is Kestrel's ball. Lashley takes the seat. Coach O'Keefe uh, taking the uh the mantle today as uh, the head coach Matt Guyman and his partner had a baby girl yesterday which uh, everyone from the Storm organisation would like to congratulate them. Hope everyone's doing really well. Yeah, that's, uh, 
Fantastic news. And a great opportunity for Jack O'Keefe to lead the team. Into the corner. Somebody. Back outside, that's wide open. Arasol got it for three. Just good ball movement. Nothing fancy. And just find the wide open shooter. Holy. Jack coming high. Move on up. And offensive foul by Greg. Just stepped into the screen there. It's just an unfortunate, unforced uh, error there. Bode coming in for Mike. Uh, see, Coach Spinks is obviously wants a little bit of a change, change of emphasis maybe. Bode is one of those players that can uh, bring bring something to the game different. On, the way back across. Sunder attacks, left-handed, misses, rich rebound. And it's in and out, but got it again. And a score by Travis Charles, who wins that particular battle against Greg Poli. Good matchup, though, Simon. Yeah, absolutely. Um, been close before. He got three opportunities there, took the third. That's what you've got to stop. You've got to stop the extra opportunities. Levi with the shot from the free throw line doesn't go. Solon again breaking early. Yeah, they're really getting into there. They're looking for that transition initially. And if not, then they can pull it out for the half court into the post. Travis Charles, baseline, shot is good. And they're just super efficient all over the floor and causing Hemelstorm all the issues they can handle. Absolutely. I, I know it's there. Chris Scarlett was uh, getting stripped up. So they're obviously looking at an outside game. I guess they've got this 18-point um, lead um, and, and they want to stretch it. They want to get uh, well ahead. Um, so get the outside shooters on. Scarlett, you know, formerly one of the best outside shooters that... The, uh, the NBA I've seen. So let's see uh, how, if that's how they're going to go. That's the game plan. Now this is the, this is a tipping point for Hemelstorm because if for Solon Kestrels, if they can get this up to 2025 in the first half, which of course we don't want from the Hemelstorm perspective, then they can really control the game. So this is a massive six minutes, 30, 30 seconds. Hemelstorm need to get back in the game early, find something, get some more stops, which they were able to do in the first, but. Just knock down, knock down the shots when they have the chance. Yeah, just a correction there from our YouTube followers. Dad is the captain, but there's an erroneous C next to uh, one of the other players, which I thought was captain. So I'll have myself shot. Do you reckon that's an undercover moderator? He's just testing us to the full here. It's the rebound basketball blog, blog so I guess oh, that's what right. they're for. So we'll give them a shout out for uh, putting yeah, us right. Good job, thank you. We need all the, all the help we can. And Hemel need all the help. Hemel still need all the help they can get right now to get back in this game. Modi, Adiola against Arasol. Levi Nolt hands it to him. Ball needs to keep moving. Bodie attacking and just can't get it to go. It all parted. The defence were coming, but he cut through. He just couldn't get it to go. That sort of typifies how things are going. Yeah, exactly. You know, the, the Solent paid a bit of donut defence there, left him a big hole in the middle, but unfortunately Bodo just didn't get the, the roll here for the two points. But he'll go to the free throw to shoot too. Camel is shooting at over 80% in the free throw line. They're number one in the National Basketball League, Division One. It's the first two shots from the line. You need to get to the line to make those percentages count. They're 10 of 10 yesterday. Uh, so Kestrel, Kestrel's were also impressive from the line as well. Yesterday, their huge win against Bradford Dragons. Big, big points difference there. Foul called against Storm on the floor. Solent ball in line. Just, just feel Storm lacking a little bit of energy. They just seem to be a little bit flat. Is that 
potentially that they're playing the leaders and maybe they, you know, kind of playing according to that. They need to change something up, you know, get a bit more dynamism into their, into their game. Yeah, I, I agree, and that's good defence. You know, uh, Simon Castle's helping, uh, helping uh, Hemelstone calls their Scarlet, trying to get the ball all the way across to Dads. Yeah, they need to try something different. Go to plan B and maybe throw in some different lineups, put in some different defence. I know uh, Coach Spinks has put in different defences before. 1-3-1 one, one zones or some sort of trap. You know, just, to, just to speed the game up or slow it down and get so that Kestrel's out of their rhythm. At the moment, they're just going through their, they're just going through their, their plays and, and they're playing tough too. Levi to Bodie. High screen from Greg who rolls all the way across. Abdul just long. But Mike again, he's a good rebounder, Mike Williams. Ten rebounds yesterday's game. Let's see if we can get the double today as well. Bode with the step back, doesn't quite drop. Craig in there with the rebound. Sorry, Mike in there with the rebound. Bode just short in the front rim. A good change of direction there. Two shots coming. Bokoronko, that was clever. He was attacking towards the far side line and then his second step just pulled him back to the hoop. Little Euro step. And Taylor back in for... These have got Jackson and Levi coming out. He looks frustrated, Levi. As we said pre-game, this was a game maybe that he could he could really step up and do something special. Yeah, he, he can't. I feel he always brings calmness when we need calm. I just wonder whether that's not what we need right now. We need, you know, energy. We need to get the ball down quick and and take our op opportunities. Great pair of hands, you know, when you need it and you need someone that's going to make sure that pass gets to you. But just something we might not need right now. We, we, we just need a different energy. Jack, with outside shooting. Um, Teo, good three-point percentages. He's up there. Yeah. And uh, second re best rebounder behind behind Greg. So that's the first free throws from Silent Kestrels as well. So it's been a good, clean game in that respect. Bodie, screen from Tayu. And Tayu's going to take the shot and he's going to make the shot from just outside the free throw line. So maybe just stretch the defence out. No, they're staying in half court. Staying man to man. Just got to try and hurry Silent Kestrels if they are, if that is possible. Travis Charles versus Greg. Left hand finish is good. That's really patient, solid post play from uh, Travis. Chance. Top play there, went one way, ducked round the other way, used the glass into the basket. Hard to defend. Williams go in and it does. Beautiful view of that shot from here. And that's what we need. We need Mike to go off in the next four minutes or so. And drag everybody with him. Good defence. Greg with the rebound. Just need a few stops and score every time. Bodie inside out. Dribble, and there's a whistle. That's against Okinawa there. It's on the floor. Sideline possession, see what Emma Storm can get from this. Greg, he's going to take the long two. It's long. Tough contested shot there. Smith. Inside. To Charles. Goes baseline. Good defence. But in comes Smith. All the defence was focused on Charles. Ian Smith comes in from the three-point line. And we'll go to the free-throw line now. Two guys matching up and it's going to leave someone available to get the ball. That time it was Smith. Uh, plenty of other guys there waiting for it. Storm have got to find something to stop this and, and, and make their own offence a good one. Yeah, agreed. And 31 from 38 coming into this game for Ian Smith. 15 points, one rebound, three assists. Yesterday against Bradford. Bradford Dragons. There wasn't a lot of fire coming from them yesterday, but a long journey. 
uh, for them all the way down to the south coast. An offensive foul, and that's two offensive fouls now on Greg, and he's going to have to sit. You I take him out suggest. straight away when, when he's such two a big part now. of our Alphine. Yes, I think you're right. But someone, Just... someone else has got to step up. We can't keep relying on Greg. He's going to bring in Wallet. I'm not. I thought we might have got Williamson in. Alex Scotland Williamson. That is tough, but you know, Solon Kestrels have talked about this. Any opportunities where they can, they've got two offensive fouls, one on a, one on a, a screen and one on a dribble. If he's, you know, they're saying if Greg, if Greg starts to dribble, to slide across, make it tough. Now. Shuts up and it's just off. But Jackman with the rebound. Charles fakes. Wrap around shot, step through, and it's a score for Charles with the assist from Orlin Jackman. Bodie with a tough hey. shot, but he gets the score. Beautiful play in transition as soon as Silent Ketchels had scored straight down the other end and get the score and one. There you go. That's that's what you need your team. That's Bode stepping up, driving at them, drawing the fouls, you know, put some pressure on these guys. Uh, trying to get them in a little bit of foul trouble as early as they can. Great to see Bode pushing it and pushing the air at the window. Doesn't make the extra. Just tone it with the ball. Now they need to stop Scarlett. He's double team. They don't want him to. Good job by Wally. Don't want him to get an open look. As you say, ball's loose. Smith. Inside to Jackman. Good job by Mike Williams. Good hands. Pushed ahead, Bodie. Yes. And now a timeout forced by Solon Kestrels. They get the stops, they get the scores, and now the complexion of the game is just starting to twist a little bit. 14 points. It, it, it was 20 points for a short while, and you know they've kind of been bringing it back a little bit. Team Solent coach Keith's decided that's enough. Let's have a chat with his guys. That's what you want to see. You want to see Storm coming up and then put a bit of pressure on. Pressure on the coaching staff to get them excited, um, make them call the timeout. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And and, and Hemelstorm have got to believe that they can hang with this team. You know, they they Michael Darler again. You know, uh, kind of an, kind enough for him to take time and give us some comments earlier in the day. And they are, they're super excited about this game. They're really up for it. And now they they know they can hang with them. They've stopped them scoring, and they and they've made some they've made some layups. There's, you've got the same players that had a great game yesterday and the good thing about yesterday the tip was early relatively two o'clock so they're back home at a decent time you know there shouldn't be any hangover from yesterday should be ready to go and let's hope they can really push on now just under three minutes to go son yeah you kind of want to get this this lead back as much as you can you always know you're going to get your moment in the in the game and, and you've just got to take that opportunity make sure that you uh, do whatever you can tail on Again, the guys, Team Solent ball. So, uh, two points, two rebounds and one assist so far. Don't forget you can get all the stats on Fever Live Stats. Should, there should be a link from the YouTube channel. Shots up and it's just short. One shot, one rebound and tell you Averaging over eight rebounds a game, gets a big one there. Williams attacks a closeout, pulls up, good for two, and now Hemel Storm are rolling. Get it under ten. That's the first key. That's the first. Take it in the bite-sized chunks. Just get a target, go for that, make a new target. Uh, hopefully that's what Coach Spinks has uh, set his eyes on. But hey, two minutes twenty-seven. There's a lot of points still in this first half. That was a really nice touch by Mike there. The closeout was coming for the three. He, he, he turned down the three, turned down the good shot, got a great shot. Attack is good for John Lashley, one of their key players. 9.7 points, 5.2 rebounds. Back door's not on, so he hands off for Bodhi. Really playing him tough now, Smith. Shot clock down to five, and good hands by Smith. Bodhi 
trying to do it all himself, but it's tough against the Solent Kestrels to go one on one. Yeah, you could see the, the defender behind Smith sagging off, ready to wait for Bode to attack the basket. He's pulled Shots up for a three. Up. Very yeah, short. Yeah, the ball. And with the rebound, and they attack fast off the glass. Great body contact, but it's a charge. A charge against John Lashley. Great job by Mike Williams on the D. Both officials took a little time to make that decision. It felt like a, a, a charge foul. It felt offensive. Uh, uh, obviously, Coach Keith doesn't quite agree, but hey, that's the no, way it goes. Uh, Lashley's probably thinking that he's he was slightly fading off to the right. He wasn't going full pelt in a straight line, but Mike Williams got in his way and uh, was set. And Lashley has to come out. Fourteen point advantage for Solent Kestrel. Ninety seconds remaining in the second. Bodhi to Tayu. Just one step at a time here for Hemel Storm. Wallet and balls loose. Ten seconds. Plenty of time, Mike. Plenty of time. You've got two players around you. Someone's open. Bodhi for three. Always a touch short, but they can get the offensive rebound. And Bodhi attacks and he scores. Great patience, excellent pass from Wallet. Yeah, that's the one thing you get with Bodie, he's willing to step up. You know, he, he's not always, there you go, another, another turnover for Storm. Williams pushing hard. Yeah, that's good. But look how quick Solent Kestrels get back in deep. Bodie for three, that's short again. And there's plenty of time on the shot clock and that's, uh, that's an unfortunate choice for Bodie. He's doing so many good things. It's maybe make the extra pass, cut to the basket like he did for the previous for the previous hoop, or just share it around, get it round to Jack, he could get open for three. Hemelstone just need to make it difficult for Solent Kestrels. Who do we help off? Who do we guard full on? And really give him a conundrum. 35 seconds remaining inside. And ball's loose. And they knocked away. That came off him, but great hustle again from Hemelstone. Almost got their hands on the loose ball. 13 seconds on the shot clock, 31 on the game clock. Inside Lashley. That's good. Charles. Charles again. Shuffled his feet there, but he not no call and he gets the score. That was a tough move. Now Hemelstone can run the clock right down. Shot clock's off. Let's hope they can finish this quarter with a really good play. Looking for options. Tayu off the glass is good for three. The bank is open at the Hearts Uni Sports Village. That's how you finish the second half. You know, you're thinking you're going to go into the, the break at 12 point deficit, uh, sorry, a 16 point deficit. Uh, it's 14 points. It's still a big lead by Solon, but hey, they go in with the emphasis. They go in with the, the, the smiles and let's hope that third quarter Storm can come and get back out. And... Yeah, first five minutes, really important. And Tayo just took it on himself. He knows he can knock down the three. And whether it's on the, off the glass or a swish, then we'll still not going to mind that. Yeah, it's, it felt strong when it left his hands. I thought, okay, we've missed our opportunity, but hey, the glass is there for a reason. Um, and it was a nice bank shot. Sure, he meant it. Absolutely, absolutely. So, points at half time Mike Williams, seven, with seven rebounds, four assists. Bodie with 10 points and two assists. So, you, with that three, five points now, four rebounds. And Greg, nine points, six rebounds, no assists at the moment. And compared with what he did yesterday in Derby, Sutton Kestrels have done a good job on Greg. Yeah, they're not they're number one for a reason. They've got they've got a, as you say a height advantage there. They've got they've got a great depth in players. Um, I felt Solent could have gone away with the game then, and and Storm held on to their tails and just uh, they're still in this game. Absolutely, uh, fourteen points can be. Uh, Turned over really quickly and uh, felt the emphasis with, with Storm. Let's, uh, let's see what the second half brings us. 
Yeah, absolutely. And for just quickly for Solent Kestrel, Smith with seven points, two rebounds. Jackman, four points, six rebounds, two assists. Travis Charles, 14 points. They've been going to him a lot, four, four rebounds. Eight points to Lashley. And that is Silent Kestrel. So Kestrel's 44 to Hemel Storm 33 with the three-point bank shot from Teo just before time expired. We'll be back in a few minutes for more National Basketball League Division One action.
Welcome back to Hearts Sports Village, Hearts University in Hatfield, Hertfordshire, Hemel, Storm 33 and Southwark Kestrels 44. And it could have been worse than this for Hemel Storm, but they've dragged themselves back in to the game with some good D. Some attacking basketball by Bodie in particular. And then Tayu with the three-point bank shot as designed, uh, just reducing the, uh, the score to 11. So it's manageable as we get ready to start the third quarter. Simon, it's, it's been tough. It's sort of been as we expected. There's been the adversity and Hemel Storm have responded you know, really well in the last few minutes of that uh, second quarter. Yeah, I did notice on the scoreboard where we finished in the second half, we only we had a 14 point difference. Obviously, they've corrected the scoreboard now and that's 11 points. So that, that's even better. You know, that three points really made a difference um, and hopefully turned the tide. Now's the second half. Now's when you've got to deliver. No, abs yeah, that's so correct. And now they've got to come out of the half time and really push and push and everybody's up for it. That's everybody on the bench and everybody on the Everybody on the court, that Hemel Storm 3 of 12 from behind the arc and 11 of 26 from two, two of three from the free throw line. And as for Kestrel's 20 of 36 from the field, that's 19 of 29 from two. That's a good percentage, 65%. Just one of seven from behind the arc. And three of four from the free throw line. So Hemel Storm get the first offense and let's see if they can make it count. Bodie to Mike, just keep the ball moving. Tell you, spin by Mike, out to Levi, just short. Yeah, it was ideal, weren't it? We got the ball back, we got uh, the opportunity. Um, just didn't, didn't quite get it with Levi there. And Smith attacks and he misses. Hamill Storm dodged the bullet there. Williams looking inside to Greg. Relatively quiet first half for him. There's a lot of attention on him. Long two from Tayu is off. Both teams scoreless early in the third. Arasol misses. And Holy with another rebound. Levi Null. Just going to share that ball, get that ball pinging around. Some open looks or some open layups. Bodie. No call. No call in there. I, I felt like there was a. It looked like he was stopped as he drove. Yeah, I, I think Bodie just left the ball alone, hoping it was uh, off the sun and Castro play it. But it is Hemel Storm in line for Teo Fusi to Levi Nall. Levi wraparound pass and the throw down. Greg Polian for the first time gets open underneath the hoop. Hey, that's the start we want. We want to push. So it's still attacking. You know, we want to we want to change this emphasis. We want it to, to be on our terms. He can finish with either hand, Charles, and that was tough. He's so patient, good footwork. But we Hemel and Storm have got to keep pushing. They can't take a possession off, especially defensively. And keep working that ball around and get great shots. Screen from Greg, standing very still. Got to move the ball. A little bit static. Greg for three. And it's just off. Ball didn't really move side to side there. They just need a bit more ball movement. Catch and shoot from Jackman is long. Levi Null. And another rebound. 3.8 rebounds a game. Levi Null, how we need those rebounds in this game. Greg Poley and he's double teamed. Back out to Levi. They need to move the ball quickly. And now he's triple teamed. He's going to have to get it out in three seconds. And really good play by Solent Kestrels. There's the plan. Get it into Greg. If Greg doesn't make a quick move or doesn't pass it out, they're just going to jump in two, three players around him. All he's got to now do is find those extra players. There's three on him. That, that leaves two open Storm players. It's just about finding them quickly. As you said, move the ball quick. Yeah, just keep the defence guessing. So now they need a stop. Still 11 point. Advantage, beautiful cut away from the ball. And Okoronkwo with another two. 
Partey to leave on up. Mike started to cut, then he came back and the turnover was caused. That's unfortunate, unforced error. They've got to play long stretches of perfect basketball to, to stay with Salem Christos. And, 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 and to deserve the win, they've got to be able to do that. Um, Mike taking the blame there um, that he didn't make the cut, so we'll see if Storm yeah, can get the stop. They've got to get the ball back quick. Good touch again. And He's Charles. so good inside, isn't he? The, the movement, he just keeps, keeps going. It's, it's very impressive to watch. Yeah, Travis Charles, 18 points, 7 points a game, 7 rebounds. 87% from the line and shots up. Good rebound by Greg. Right Al against Greg there. Yeah, and that's what's needed. Just keep the pressure on. Williams, in the inbound, to Greg, Levi Null, Williams, screen, he attacks the gap, and that's tough, and he gets stopped by Jackman, he had to switch hands in mid-air and just couldn't get the shot off. Great athleticism inside there is, you know, to keep going forward and move the ball over, um, just so little when equal to it, Teo for the long two, doesn't go, but there he is. The man himself, Greg, gets the offensive rebound. Addy takes it. Nice play from Bodie, but again, they just angled him off enough to make it tough. Marisol. And Mike, can, that's the best way to recover from an offensive miss, is get the ball straight back on D. Mike for three, it's deep, and it doesn't matter. He knocks it down, and Hemel are still alive and kicking. A real ebb and flow to this game and, and Storm just can't quite get it under double figures. It's tough play and no reaction from the other defenders. Mike did as good as he could and that's tough being eased out the way by Ocaronco. And ball's loose and first to it Mike Williams but Solent Kestrels will retrieve possession but that's the hustle that's needed. It's great to see uh, both, both players there fighting for the ball. Storm give it up this time. But that's what you want. You want them fighting for every single ball, every single point, um, and just getting it to drop. It's just really on, on the, the cusp of this game, I feel. You know, you felt that Greg's dunk might have just forced Storm into a, a different emphasis and a, a little bit more enthusiasm. But, you know, they've kind of, they've, they've just dropped back again a little bit, I feel. I feel they need to keep going. Coach Spinks might be thinking about putting some other defences in. We shall see. They've got to surround the ball and then they've got to recover and get out to the outside shooter. Good job by Levi now. Six for six. Point guard. 29 years old now, Levi. Former GB International. Williams. Screen by Tayo to Polian. Keep the ball moving. Pull up Jay off the dribble is short. Tough move. Dribble left with the shooting right. Smith hands it off. Travel, I think. He just recovered enough there, Simon, the defence to, to force the travel. Yeah, he, he didn't get the ball down quite quick enough and uh, got caught on the step. You know, it's kind of, you look at some of the comments coming in from uh, YouTube watchers, you know, asking Mike to slow the ball down. I think it's a relative. Um, Mike Williams, I'm going to guess his dad. Um, he obviously watches his son and knows what, what he expects of him and just saying slow down when he gets the ball. There's Mike. Hey, there you go. On that's the perfect. Turn. That's a catch and shoot. That's, that's a, low, a lower tariff shot than the last one he took. He's in control and he's, he's going to make a high percentage of those. So let's work towards that for the next offence. Balls in the post, outside by Charles. Dads. Jackman. Jackman against Mike now. He attacks. Good defence and better offence. That the is drop. tough. He did everything, didn't he? He forced him out. He was fading away nearly backwards and uh, still got the, the points. Bode six goes to the dive. Against, yeah. That's six foot seven against six foot one, something like that. And he, with that little fade as well by Jackman, just gave him the space. So substitutions, Okoronko out and 
Sunbru in. And one, another one of the young players for Silent Kestrels. And he has the ball. It goes past Bodie. And Bodie commits the foul just to stop the transition. You've said it earlier in commentary, some they really push early. Solent Kestrels, as soon as they get the ball, they're off. Yeah, and I think you commented uh, that Solent get back on defence really quick. Maybe Storm could take a, a leaf out of their book uh, um, and step it up to get back in position. And there's a foul away from the ball. And it's on Levi Null. And, uh, just got to keep playing. Keep playing smart, Levi. This is tough playing against this team. Two fouls on Levi. So inbounds from Smith. Dads. It's guarded by Mike Williams. Smith, the inbounder, gets it, attacks inside. That's really nice play. Defense came to help and he dropped it off at the perfect time. Bodie attacks. Bodie. And it's blocked by Basundu. Yeah, I, I, I see Smith go to the table. He's calling a timeout and, and, and you can really feel that it's a great time to call it. Fit down by 15, just tip the other way. And there's no easy baskets. You know, Bodie, we know he can make that shot cutting through the defence, changing hands off either feet, but it's tough. The guards are decent size as well for Salik Kestrels and they're making the shots very difficult for Hemelstorm. And timeout, as you say, from Coach Spinks. You know, they're 15 down now. They've got to keep, they've got to manage this uh, deficit. It'd be interesting to see what he comes back with. So, so your coach right now, what, where, where are you going to go? You're going to go outside? Are you, are you going to just change it up? What's your, well, what's your? Let's bring, maybe bring Jack in. I mean, Nick hasn't been on the floor yet. We know we talk about Nick every week. He's a, he's a uh, point guard first. Maybe he will be able to facilitate getting the ball moving. Jack is a spot up shooter. If they can set some screens to him to get him a wide open look, maybe he can get a two or three threes. But the first key thing is they've got to get back in transition on deep and then make their layups. If they've got, if they haven't got a good shot on the transition, let's just kick it out and let's just start and then go to a half court. Coach Hescock there, man of many talents. Thank you very much. I mean, there are other, other, you know, going on from that. There's other defenses that he can go with. Um, you know, he's, he's used the one-three-one before. Just try and get Solent out of their set, because if they remain in man, they're just going to run their set. So maybe just tweak it up, just for one or two possessions. Three minutes for Hemelstorm. Can Summit Kestrels remain unbeaten? Or can Hemelstorm hand them their first defeat? Smith is long, rebound to you. The former Summit Kestrel player. And the league in cut with them. And now, we would love, we'd love him at uh, Hemelstorm to win a trophy here as well. Holy. And the ball is just sticking a bit. They need an open look. So got to put the shot up. So you puts it up. And then they run out of shot clock. And again, the ball was very pedestrian, I'd say. Just moving around. There was no sort of fizz to the ball. And they couldn't get it inside to Greg. And they just run out of, run out of shot clock. Yeah, I just don't think they had any options. It was the, the, the defence was just working really hard to cut the angle cut the lane that the, the path might be made and, and did a real job so you know that storm they've got to be moving they've got to find the space and a trade kick Sundru makes the shot knocks it down and the lead is expanding Bodie Mike Williams in motion Again, he's chased wherever he goes. And the attempted pass tonight to Greg is stolen. Smith behind the back, he just has a good flow to his game. Catch and shoot, Okoronkwo. And Solent Kestrels are on the flow and they're on fire. 
The bench is animated, put it that way. You, you know, you, you know, this game in front of a four five hundred crowd would be uh, loud and proud, but that bench is getting right behind them. Mike forced into a, a tough shot there. And Hammerstorm have to do the same. And defensive foul. It just, it just avoided Bodie. The offensive player, I think it was Smith. And by the time the contact was made, he was sort of going away at an angle. And Bodie, good effort, but just needed that final slide. So there you go for the uneducated uh, Storm fan. That was definitely an offensive foul in my eye. 100%. <laughs> 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 hey. Oh, we, 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 Storm needs stuff like this to happen. They need to be forcing the issue, getting charges, getting the loose balls, and knocking down some shots. Maybe Jack Benel can ha help with that. And Wallet's in for his energy as well. Dad's. Abdul. <laughs> left hand. And deal with the defence as well. So they're switching things up. Levi Null attacks. And he's good for two. And they retreat back to their half court. And that's good play. Good job by Wallid. Jumping up. On off the long group. And Lashley with the dribble off the knee. It's something big from him, Linnell. Williams, Wallet loses the pass. It's quite a low bounce pass, but it was catchable. It needed to be caught in these circumstances. It is tough. 18 point lead for the Kestrels. Aerosol, Dads, all the way across. Okoronkwo, inside. Lashley, shot clock running down. And good defence by Hemel Storm. But great defence, well, attempted defence by Silent Kestrels, and that's a, a defensive foul. A difference of opinion, I feel. The officials are yeah, talking. That was, yeah, that was really close to being offensively. Offensive foul. You could change it, possibly. And it is a block. He may have still been sliding laterally as he as the collision took place. And that's three fouls. He's still pleading his case with David Griffin. Great to see two of our premier Hertfordshire referees here in the, the three-man refing crew. So Abdul, he could do this going in. And that's a good play though. Foul on Lashley. Getting that low bounce pass for Williams to Abdul there and finding that way to, to the net. It uh, goes to the line to shoot too. You just need those ones to drop right now. Yeah, that would have been a bonus for Abdul. He's just averaging 2.8 points a game, but when that first game that we mentioned earlier against Essex Rebels, 12 points, two rebounds in 13 minutes, three of five from behind the arc, and then since then, he struggled a little bit. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely gone quiet, but hey, that's, that's, let's see if he can step up right now. He's uh, one from two or from the free throw line, so a little work there. Oh, that's a carry. So again, similar situation to the turnover on the opposite side of the court. This time he does a little high, high dribble with it and gets his hand under the ball. The, the cracks are there, you've just got to take your opportunity. Storm have been given opportunities throughout this game and now they've got Absolutely. to take them. Almost as the third quarter came to an end, Mike Williams had the shot, he had a look and it was just, just off. And after three quarters, Solent Kestrels lead 61 to 44. It's a big ask. It's a fourth quarter. You know, you look at how uh, Solent played yesterday. They really stepped up in the fourth quarter. Storm have got their work cut out for them. But if they're going to go up against these guys and take that that unbeaten record, they've got to match them. They've got to take their opportunity um, and get the points. It's a big ask. Yeah, 
Well, with what Mike Darlow said earlier and what we've said, you've got to take, you've got to play perfection, take the best possible shot you can, and and that's not always going to be end up being a great shot because of the defence from Solent and Kestrels. It's put in an ideal scenario. You just keep pinging that ball around, setting the screens. You either end up with an open layup or an open jump shot. And, but Kestrels are scrambling. They're playing. They're a very proud team. And as we've discussed, there's there's a reason or a number of reasons why they're number one in the NBL. Yeah, they, 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 certainly. I, I watching them today. They're just as you expect. You know, they've got guys through the day. But again, there's no one really stand out. I, I think. Uh, Charles has done a great job inside and afforded the guys outside to have that time now uh, and, and they've stepped up and delivered as, as well but they're just a great you know well drilled team both on defense and offense they've just shown they've shown the door they've shown slight cracks in the door and, and that's where Storm have just got to force it open and get get you know set that little target get down to five get down to ten and move it from there yeah absolutely and, and if you play tough enough D they, they will make mistakes. They will turn the ball over. But a couple of the comparisons on stats, 46 points in the paint to Kestrels, just 18 points in the paint to Hamill, and 17 to 10 in points from turnovers. So, so I think Kestrels leading in a lot of the stats categories and there's 17 up at the moment. Bad turnover. There we go. Alert defense from Mike Williams. Passes to Abdul Manel in the corner. Got it for three and what off and running. That's what you need, Mr. Downtown. Downtown and shooting well. Get that confidence going. He's just got to get his feet under him, get himself set and look at that. Great footwork again by Lashley. Previous London Lions player. Also went to Hackney College as a in the EABL to start start this time in basketball. Well, it could do with this going, just short. Balls loose and good job by Abdul, but he can't get the rebound to go. An offensive rebound, but he just couldn't put it in. Rich O'Keefe calls the plays. And left hand dunk all the way through the Storm defense. And it's a huge score for Luke Bassumbu. And straight off that play, that, that uh, carries over into the defence and they force the turnover from Hamilton. Double whammy for Solent Kestrels there. It's a great office, offense there, you know, Storm had picked up man, they went strong on the right hand side, leaving the channel for him to drive in and get score. The easy dunk um, looked simple, but was well delivered. Absolutely, and they get the second chance. Effort, extra pass. Jackman deep for three, misses everything. He nearly missed out of bounds. <laughs> okay, this is going to change it up. Teo back in, Frodo back in. Jack's going to take a seat, and Wally's going to take a seat. It's, for me, that's a pity. Jack's just hit a three. Leave him out there and, and just keep feeding him. If, he, if they're going to give him the shots, let's see if he can get us back three at a time. But I'm slightly biased. <laughs> Bogey to Levi Knopf. Williams. Shot clock down to five. Tayo. They're chasing and they throw it out of bounds and it's just not moving quick enough. It's catch, dribble, pick it up, pass. Whereas if you watch Solent Kestrel's play, they just play with fluidity and it doesn't really matter who takes the shot. I've had Tao second guess himself there. He, he had, the, had that Absolutely. split second for the shot, didn't take it and yep. then the pass was harder. No, you're absolutely correct as Arasol knocks down the three. No, he had that three and he can make that. And that's, the, that's what he'd be frustrated with when he re-watches the film. Williams, no hesitation. And Levi tries to get the steal. Arasol pushes it down. Arasol for three. Long. Rebound. Levi no. 
Wasted a lot of time in this game, but it's going to take a lot of energy to get back in. Great. Just long, and Jackman tips it to Harrison. Jackman attacks, and he misses. He wants the foul. I can tell you, but nothing coming. Levi. Mike Williams catch, shoot, just short. But the ball moves a bit quicker, a bit more energy. Arasol talking a quick, he goes right to the basket, forces another timeout. Really Solent opened up there, didn't it? it end to end, and, and uh, again, Solent were matched it and beat it, and, and they kind of taken this 23-point uh, lead a long way. 6.37 in the fourth quarter. We're deep into the game now. Um, you don't want to give Solent a lead, let, a, let alone a, a 23 point lead. So it's a tough ask for Storm. It's been done and can be done. They've got to change things up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we've talked about that, the different options. Maybe, you know, give Nick Allen a, a few minutes, you know, with, with the, especially with the score as it is. It, you know, they haven't used him earlier in the game. I guess Williamson is still not ready to go. Um, you and James hasn't been in. It is sort of an eight eight player rotation and, and they need everybody firing at a hundred percent to to hang with this team. Just the points scoring for Storm Williams, Mike Williams thirteen points, Adiola ten, Greg Podium eleven points, eight rebounds, one assist four turnovers and we spoke pre-game and, and Solent Kestrels have had a plan they've made it as difficult as they can for him and, and at the moment that, that plan's working yeah they've kept him quite or quite in his, his, his kind of range and uh, Storm on the up now Levi going to the basket strong in there and try to get the offensive rebound just not quite falling and Kestrel's doing just enough, which which is what they've done. Absolutely. The the game. You know, I can I can see all the YouTube followers there. You, you've got shouts of defense. Come on, Storm, you've got this. You know, you know, will that defense shout? You, we're not hearing it like we would at the Storm Dome. That would have got a big cheer from the crowd. So it didn't yeah, good get the drop. Good job, I tell you that. Little pull up, Jay, by Levi, and he gets the roll. Now, I don't know if they want to try and you know press. Just stretch the defence out. It might be something Coach Spinks wants to think about maybe for a future games. And a rip through. Clever play by Travis Charles. And he gets a foul on Greg. A little bit of overemphasis there. A little bit, a tad. Yeah, but I don't like that. I don't like that play. They, a lot of the NBA players do it. And they're not really getting into a shooting position, but as soon as they rip it across, if there's any contact, the referee's obliged to call the foul. Yeah. So Travis Jones at the line. 20 points, seven rebounds. He's above his average of 18 points, seven points a game, seven rebounds, 1.4 assists. Another player with good size, 6'6", so he can play inside and out, but he's done a good job along with Jackman of making things very difficult for Hamill Storm today. Bogey to Levi Null. High screen by Greg. Let's have a good last few minutes. Good looking shot. Jackman gets the rebound. Marisol with the, with the break, and he pulls it out. Good transition defence from Hamill, but they mustn't switch off. off from Charles and Levi Null into Greg Polin. Greg again it's making it so tough. I'm willing a shout for a foul there it's you know we're, we're five minutes into the fourth quarter and, and it's been open you can tell that because there's only one foul each for each team so you know are we not working hard enough on defense are, are they not working hard enough in defense they seem to be w matching and winning the the end-to-end -end game right now. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, Hemel Storm have had 12 fouls and 9 fouls to the Kestrels in the whole game. Williams trying to find an opening. Tayu, long range, just short. Just under five minutes remaining here at the Hart Sports Village. Down to the Hart Fisher University. Williams chased by Dads. That's a good move. Just can't get it to go, but Tayu gets it back to Mike. He's going to attack. Good hands. And they just do enough again. Travis Charles along with Dads and Scarlett. Pulled up. It looked, it looked, he felt his calf really early on there in the second time he got the ball and went up. It's just it's hope. A lot of discomfort there. Might Maybe cramping. just a bit of cramp. Maybe just a bit of cramp. You know, he's played 34 minutes. He's the number one player on the Hemel Storm team for minutes played. 34 minutes a game he's averaging, so he's right at his average now. So substitutions come coming in for Hemelstorm. Mike, it's going to take a while to get to the uh, sideline there with the, with the shoe shuffle there. And the physios on hand and uh, what a wonderful job. All the volunteers are doing summer. We, we like to mention them each game but from the physio to the to the person who mops the floor carol's son um, you got into a bit of trouble yesterday by being well we, we can't miss out madam hamill <laughs> can we we can't miss her out <laughs> <laughs> we're just yet to decide um whose son is gallums really but hey let's leave yeah. that there let's get back to the game yeah. four minutes let's 28 see, to go all, all the volunteers taking our temperatures and and the opposition and the flow tests, just making sure it's a absolutely safe environment to play in. Thank you very much for everybody involved. Just off camera, I can see Mike Williams looks okay. He's uh, taken a, a seat on the bench, but he doesn't look in too much pain. So just to let you know, you guys, off camera, he's looking okay. That's good, he's straight on the physio bench. So immediate attention. And Havis Abdul throws it down. Nice job. Just needed more of that. Just got to keep pushing, get some momentum for the last few minutes. Twenty-one points with three fifty-five to go. That's uh, a lot of momentum. It's a big heap. <laughs> well, it's been done. Not often, but a miracle at the Hart Sports Village. Smith short, balls loose. Levi with another rebound. Doing a, doing a good job on the boards tonight. Levi not. Bodhi. And he's Abdul. Hands off to Levi to Bodhi. Jack in the corner, if required. But they're going the other way. Extra pass. Levi open for three. Just off. Just a bit flat. Three on two for Solon. Scarlet for three is long. Hasn't made one today. But we know he can be very dangerous. Greg inside there. He had a moment. A moment where he could have got the ball. And good job by Abdul. And this is what we need from him. All court player. Playing defence. Knocking it down on the offence. Yeah, it's a real fight by the freeze now. We're either going to live by them or die by them. But hey, that's what you've got to do. Put down a step through for the, for the shot for Lashley. No good though. So Bodie will get another three of some description. Greg's going to try it. And he knocks it down. Nothing but net. Timeout. <laughs> Solon Kestrels. Hemel on the charge. Nine points. Step of change up there. You know, it's kind of the, the coach had to call a timeout. He had no choice. Uh, turns it into a 15 point game. Hey, it was, felt like it was a lot more a little while ago. Still 2.37 on the clock. Still a big ask, but it's less now. Well, yeah, they've got to play tough D. Maybe the press will come in now to really make it as difficult as possible. But maybe Coach Spinks is 
thoughts are that the guards of Solent Kestrels are so tough and quick, maybe that if they blow past the first line of the press, then we've got real issues. But I think they've just got to throw the dice now and uh, try and get some steals and just knock down some big shots. I like the fight, Simon. It's a good fight. They're really up against it for pretty much the whole game. And uh, they're just taking what they're, they're given. So Silent Kestrels don't come out all the way to the three-point line there. Just keep knocking down the shots. Popping them on there. Yeah. They've not laid down Storm, which is what we expect and, and, and we want to see every single game. Um, so let's just hope we can keep getting that point going, that, that, that number coming down between the two teams. Absolutely, the fans are going to be screaming at the telly, just wanting more. And can handle Storm deliver it. There's a loose ball. Levi gets it, and there's a foul. And just thinking what we've got here. Sideline, we're not in team fouls yet. No, we're near it for either team. Bogey. Plenty of time left. Just got to make the most of every possession. Levi up, Bodie, screen coming, Polian, penetrate, kick, Jack's open on the outside, and that's where I would, I'm sure Levi, if he had his time again, would have kicked it. The whole defence was what, inside there, and you know, there was an open shot that's from outside. there for. Yeah, what's Jack want there for? Dads, brings it out, just takes some time off the clock, Hemel have got to push the D now. Yeah, nice jump shot. Travis Charles has got a beautiful J. Twenty-two points now. Seven rebounds. Polian pulls up. Beautiful play. And they're continuing the straight up deep. Hemelstall. Still time. They need a stop right now. And they almost get it. So unlucky there, Levi just caught it on his foot on the way through to be a Team Solent ball. 15 points, 1.36 to go. Smith. That's around the outside, Arasol cuts baseline. Back outside and... Good defense, bit of a smile between Jack and... Andre there. I think Andre was uh, felt that he might have been pushed out of court there, but I think he was just I think he was. led that way. It was eased. Eased. Bunnell <laughs> easing somebody out of court. Maviola, Bodie. Can we get an open look? Move the ball. Slip pass. Abdul back outside. This could do with going and it's just short again. Uh, and the clock stops, which is exactly what Hemmerstorm needs. So they either need to make the threes or they need to get to the line, get, the, get some free throws. Yeah, they seem to be le giving Levi the open look. He's not quite hot yet, is he? So, you know, Solent again. Greg, what a pull up. And Greg, oh, oh such just... unfortunate. But what an effort by Javis Abdul. And they just can't get it to go. But Levi had to take that shot he wide did. open. Yeah, absolutely. Into the last minute. And Solent Kestrels have controlled this game for minute one. And they're just about in control as we come to the end of the game. And another basket from Travis Charles. Jump hook, this time going to the baseline. 24 points personal for him. And 11 of 15 from the field. Bodie, tough shot again, having to throw it high off the glass. And now Silent Kestrels will just dribble the ball out. They're just going to see this game out. Um, it's a, a top of the table win for Team Solent. They'll stay top with 11 and 0. They've decided to go on an offense. That's still is another five seconds. Well, we've got 10 seconds to go. What are they going to do, Hamill? And they knock it out. And Drew Spinks is saying, shoot, they're going to try and get a shot up. Let's see. Well, they may dribble it out. 
Yeah. Uh, that's fine. Just showing respect to each other. And Hemelstein saying to the front and Kestrels, you were too good today. And we'll have to do battle another day. Yeah, it's, it's a quick turnaround. I think we've got, we're away to Team Solent in uh, end of the month. So, you know, we've got to learn from this game, uh, not take those opportunities. The fight was there. I just don't think any one person quite stepped up today. And, you know, we need our big players to play big against the top of the table. All respect to Team Solent. They did a great job and um, are worthy winners. Yeah, Greg, Greg ended up as top scorer with 16 oh. points, eight rebounds, one assist. Just those four turnovers early, which sort of set the set the tone for the game as well with Solent Kestrels really pushing and, and commanding the game. But Himmelstorm kept they kept going, they never let their heads drop, made a few threes toward at the end and, and it's made the scoreline more respectable. But Solent Kestrels showing why they're number one in the league and number one in assists, points and rebounds. Yeah, they've done what every other team hasn't been able to do. They kept Greg quiet and double teamed him, triple teamed him on times. That's, that's keep him out of the, the, the top scorer for Storm out of the game and uh, you've got a good chance of winning. Yeah, that, that's absolutely correct. And that they had a plan, they stuck to it. And if, if Greg wasn't able to get his passes off quick enough, then they were just going to double and triple team. And there was a couple of times where they forced him to uh, travel or were able to turn the ball over. And that was, uh, that was sort of indicative. So they did a good job there. But as for Hemel, they kept going. Mike Williams, 13 points, eight rebounds. Four assists, 10 points for Bodie, four assists. Levi, six points, eight rebounds, three assists. Five points for Taylor, 16 for Greg, three for Jack, six for Javiz Abdul, which is encouraging signs. But we need more from Javiz as well. Going forward, really need some uh, big, big moments from him. Yeah, it's just one of those weekends. We we a great win yesterday against Derby. They were in and around us. We don't quite get the the, the W here against the the top of the league. But hey, we get to we get to go again next week. Uh, Bradford Dragons Sunday. Yeah, I think that's where we're at. We'll be back here at University of Hearts. Just like to thank everyone for watching in. Thank you for your comments. Thank you to uh, the Big G for stepping in there. We've still not got a nickname for myself, Big G, Elvis. You've got eight. Simon Wheeler Dealer. Wheeler Dealer Wheeler. <laughs> I don't think so. With all this tech you're bringing, you're wheeling and dealing to get all this tech. Uh, thank <laughs> you, everyone, for coming. We look forward to the next game and, and see you next Sunday. Good night.